here's something hilarious. Uh, Candace Owens, also known as Red Pill Black, she is somebody who has had an epiphany. Really, really shady epiphany, by the way. I wasn't even aware of the depths of what this, epi- you know, the shadiness of this epiphany. Apparently, Candace Owens ran a doxing website called Social Autopsy, where basically it was this website where you have, uh, you know, someone sends, someone writes some shitty thing on social media, calls you a cunt or a douche or a bitch or whatever, and then. Like, you attach that to their identity or some some shit like that. Something to that extent. And that's really, really, a really, really bad idea. A terrible idea. Because now you're talking about, you know, calling someone a cunt online. And, oh, shit, now your job is in, in uh, jeopardy. Which is like, well, that's insane. What the fuck? So, it's a ter- it was a terrible idea. But she ran a doxing site. And she said she was a liberal. And then... Once that doxing site went under because there was so much backlash to it and the Kickstarter was taken off, uh, she then comes in nine months later saying, uh, you know, I've been, I've taken the red pill, I've been red pilled. There's a good video by a conservative named Tree of Logic on this I recommend checking out. Uh, pretty good explanation of this. But anyways, what we're going to be talking about in this, in this segment is she went on Fox and Friends and, you know, Candace Owens has been on a mission to wake up the black community, you know, and as Dave Rubin said, she's had more effect than uh, than Kanye West has. So let's see what she said on Fox and Friends. Uh, the black vote is going to become the most relevant vote in America by 2020. We're already seeing a major shift. Men and women. Men and women. Why is there. that? Why do you think that? It's just the conversation is different. I actually think digital media has allowed for this. For so long, we were sort of trapped, and we saw the version of society that CNN projected towards us. That's sort of what was being played in our households. Uh, now we have social media. Now they're hearing voices and different ideas and people that are combating um, sort of the wrong facts that are coming out of their TV screens. And they're seeing people like me who popped up on YouTube with a different version right. and I am seeing so many black people pop up on YouTube on Facebook on Twitter using different hashtags there is going to be a major black exit from the Democrat Party and they're going to have to actually compete for their votes in 2020 these people are honestly really delusional if they think they're gonna get any sort of black support for the Republican Party and if there's really gonna be a dem exit of African of the African American vote they've really lost it if that's what they think. Honestly, they really have lost it if that's what they think. I mean, it's unbelievable. Just the sheer idea that there's somehow even a chance of, you know, the Democratic vote or the black vote going away from Democrats and going to Republicans is, it's laughable because there's just no chance of that happening. And there's nothing to indicate. So we're going to be looking at uh, a comment made by Charlie Kirk, which is unbelievable. But the... (laughs) The funniest thing is, is they've been on this mission to raise the black vote for uh, the black approval for Trump. And the best they've been able to do is get it to like 16 percent or something like that. And it was hilarious because Dave Rubin was on Joe Rogan and was like, hey, man, you know, it doubled. And it's like it's gone like from eight to 16. It's like, OK, yeah, congratulations. It doubled from single digits to double digits. Congratulations. You know, so you're delusional if you think like you're having an actual effect on this because you're a nobody. Let's keep it real. 